Welcome students. Today we are going to explore the fascinating world of sets and learn how to distinguish between finite, infinite, and empty sets. Are you ready? Let's dive in. First, what exactly is a set? Ah, a set can be considered as a collection or of objects or elements that share something in common. These objects can be anything, numbers, shapes, fruits, or even people. Let's take a look at some examples. Set of fruits, a set of animals, domestic animals, or a set of wild animals. And as we say, set can be anything. A set of students, a set of boys, a set of girls, a set of furniture, a set of houses, and so on. Finite sets. Finite sets have an exact number of elements in the set. For example, a set of all numbers less than 14 or all numbers less than 14, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, this set have a specific amount of numbers of elements or members. 5, 6, 7, 8. And there you have four members or four elements in this set. In other words, the set as a stopping point. Finite set as a stopping point. Finite sets have a last value or a final number. Final set in finite sets does not go on. Finite set finishes. Element stops, right? The curly bracket simply represents a set of numbers or a set of people, a set of rules, a set of toys. This is called set notion. Here we have an example of a finite set, a set of fruits. We have five delicious fruits. As you can see, this set has a specific number of elements and we can count them. One, two, three, four, five apples. A set of five apples. Now, let's move on to infinite sets. An infinite set goes on and on and on without an end that means it doesn't end it just continues going and going and going it keeps going forever one example of an of an finite set is a set of natural or, or a set of all numbers so we say zero one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, and it continues, it continues, it never stops. Here are two more examples. We have a sand on the beach. The sand, the grains of sand goes on and on and on, and there's no way we are able to count all the grains of sand on a beach or fish in the sea. There's no way we are able to do that. So the number goes on and on and on and on and on. So we call these in finite sets. Where the members are, we are unable to count its members, right? In finite set, a set which contains indefinite numbers of elements. That means there, we are unable to come up with a specific number of elements for an infinite set, right? Set A, 
equals hex slash is of all number x number of all numbers we are unable to determine the number of all number or y number of a point of line we are unable to determine what that is right lastly we have empty sex wow and we should all know what empty means right an empty set is a set with no elements it's like an empty basket or an empty classroom there is nothing inside it may seem strange but empty sets are important in so here we have an empty bottle that would be considered an empty set, an empty box, an empty bucket. Now, empty sets a set which does not contain any elements is called an empty set or a null or void set. And we denote by a circle with a slash, a diagonal slash, or a open and close bracket with no elements inside. Now it is a set, for example, a set A equals set of months containing 32 days. So we know that there is no month in the year that has 32 days. So that would be an empty set. That would be an empty set. Here N. N A is an empty set. No cars. A set of cars with three wheels. There are no cars with three wheels. So here you have your empty set. Now let's see if we can distinguish between these types of sets. Here we have our finite sets, our infinite sets, and our empty sets. We have a set of roots for our finite sets, and we are able to count the members are the elements of this finite set the set of fruits we are able to count them one two three four five six seven eight nine so in this finite set there are eight members or there are eight elements we have apple cherry pear banana orange avocado lemon grape and we have strawberry so here we have nine elements in this finite set we are able to give a specific amount of elements within this set over here we have our infinite set and this is a set of all numbers so we start at zero and we and counting and counting and counting and the counting goes on and on and on and on, on the numbers go on and get bigger bigger and go on and on and on and it never stops so this is an infinite set so remember finite set have specific number of elements but infinite set never stops it goes on and on forever right and lastly here we have our empty set and our and an empty set has no elements at all there is nothing inside the set it is just bare just like how we have this empty bucket here or we have a empty cup or an empty bag right good here we have a venn diagram 
to help us understand set classification. The circle represents all the elements in the set. Here we have it. Now, in this circle, we have apples, oranges, and banana. Or just an apple, an orange, and a banana. What type of set is this? Ah, that's right. able to count the elements in the set. Here we have one apple, one orange, one, two, three, four, five bananas. So in this set we have seven elements or seven members. There are seven members in this set. That's right. It's an infinite set because we can count the elements. Now, let us look at another example. There, there are no elements in this set. What type of set is this? Let us look at the green circle here. There are no elements in this set. What type of set do you think this is? In this circle, we have nothing. And when we have nothing in a set, when there are no elements inside, what type of set is this? Wonderful. Exactly. It's an empty set because there are no elements in it. It's empty just like an empty basket. Nothing is inside. Finally, let's look at this circle with an arrow that keeps going. What type of set is this? Beautiful, you have got it. It's an infinite set because it goes on forever. It's like the set of natural numbers where the counting never ends, it never stops. You continue and counting and counting and counting. Well done, students. You have learned about sets and how to distinguish between finite sets, infinite sets, and empty sets. Remember, Sets help us organize or categorize things in mathematics. Keep exploring and discovering the fascinating world of sets until next time. Let's remember. Finite sets of a specific and countable number of elements. In finite set continues indefinitely without an end. Empty sets contain no elements at all. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for the next lesson.
in our next video and please remember to share like and subscribe please remember to drop us a comment in the comment area we look forward to hear from you you we look forward to hear from you